Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our, our minds are filled with his grace, and we, and we receive the pledge of the glory which, which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you give us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our, our hearts, that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made, made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the five luminous mysteries. The first mystery is the baptism of the Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery is the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, o Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not our petitions and our necessities, necessities but, but deliver, deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by, by his life, death, death and, and resurrection, has purchased, purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you that, that meditating, meditating upon these mysteries, mysteries of the, the Holy Rosary, of the, of the Blessed, Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what, what they promise through Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you we entrusted our Savior to the, to the care of Saint Joseph by, by the help of his prayers, prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. As we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican Province of the Philippines, O God, God the, the Son, our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ we, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. 
Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manama. Today is the feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Eternal High Priest. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mary by Masha, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us give glory to Christ, who has an eternal priesthood. Through the blood of the cross of Christ, the Father has established peace with all things, whether on earth or in heaven. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. All things were created through Christ and in Christ. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. 
Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. He has put all things under his feet and has made him head over the whole church, which is his body. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. O God, who for your glory and the salvation of the human race will to establish Christ as the eternal high priest, grant that the people he has gained for you by his blood may through their participation in his memorial may experience the power of his cross and resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. <clears throat> Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, while Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out to sea. He directed his servant, who went up and looked, but reported, There is nothing. Seven times he said, Go, look again. And the seventh time the youth reported, There is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea. Elijah said, Go and say to Ahab, Harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind, and the heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel. But the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab as far as he approaches to Jezreel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. We have prepared the grain. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Please stand.
I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Jehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and then recall that your brother has anything against you. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Good morning po. Sa medical advice, madalas nating naririnig yung salitang, yung advice sa mga doktor, Take care of your heart. Cardiac arrest is real. Alagaan natin ang ating inyong mga puso sapagkat totoo ang atake sa puso yung cardiac arrest. Madalas pag sinasabi sa akin yan, tinatanong ko, anong cause of death? Father, cardiac arrest. Madalas kong response, ah, inaristo na ni Lord. But more importantly, yung tinatawag natin na biblical advice. At ano po yun? Above all else, guard your heart because everything you do flows from it. Yan po ay galing sa Proverbs chapter 4, chapter 4, verse 23. Alagaan natin ang ating puso Guard your heart. Kasi sabi nga, ang Diyos ay nanguhusga. Hindi niya ito tinitingnan kung anong external, kundi kung anong nasa puso. God sees what is in the heart. For man, usually, tinitingnan ng tao ang external, but God sees what is in our heart. That is from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. Righteousness. Kaya ka po sinasabi sa inyo ito sapagkat the righteousness of the Pharisees. In the first part of the gospel, sinasabi, I tell you, unless to surpass the righteousness of the Pharisees and the scribes. At ano po yung righteousness nila? Ikaw po'y righteous, ikaw po'y mabuting tao if you are a law-abiding citizen. Kapag ka sumusunod ka sa batas, ganun sa kanila. That is why the Pharisees, the scribes, and the teachers of the law, they follow the law. External. Ganun po ang righteousness, ang preaching ng mga pariseyo. Kaya nga, marami sa atin yung temptation to be parasitical in many things that we do. We see only what is external, what is outside. What is or what are the things that we observe? But God, Jesus Christ, reminds us that more than those things, ang sinasabi ni Cristo is that it should come from your heart. What is in your heart? Yun ang mahalaga. 
sapagkat kung titingnan natin sa buhay, maraming pwede tayong sumunod sa batas, pero deep inside, labag sa kalooban natin, merong ganun, di ba? Simba ka ng simba, you take it as an obligation, externally, people see you, ay, ang banal-banal naman, ang bait-bait naman. Pero hindi yun sina- yun yung hindi yung tinitingnan ng Diyos na righteousness ang tinitingnan niya kung ano talaga ang laman ng ating puso. Ito ba'y puno ng pag-ibig? Ito ba'y puno ng pagpapatawad? Ito ba'y puno ng pag-uunawa? Yun ba ang laman? O baka yung laman ng ating puso ay eh, anger, hatred, greed, jealousy. These things, they are in our hearts. Kaya nga sinasabi ni Kristo, ang righteousness nagsisimula sa ating mga puso. That is why we educate our heart. We teach it to love, to forgive, and to be merciful. Kaya tinitinan yung right motivation. Ano nga ba yung intention mo? Pag sa pagsisimba, ito ba'y pakitang tao? Ito ba'y pagbabalat kayo? Pwede kasi. Pwedeng pwede. But the Lord is reminding us na maaring tayo po hindi pumapatay physically. Di ba? Pwede yun eh. Hindi ka pumapatay. Pero, chinichismis mo naman. Maaring hindi mo pinapatay yung physical na tao. Pero pinapatay mo ang kanilang pagkatao. Pwede yun. Sinisiraan mo yung tao, nakapagagalit ka sa kanila. If you are you know, hateful, kapansin ninyo. Kapag kagalit ka sa gobyerno, kahit anong gawing mabuti ng gobyerno, anong sasabihin mo? Ah, ah, ah. Lahat complain. Bakit? Puro ka galit. Hindi ka makakita ng mabuti. Kahit sa mag-asawa, in relationships, if you want righteousness, o anong laman ng puso mo, kapag kagalit ka doon sa kapatid mo, sa asawa mo, No, anong sasabihin yan? Kahit may gagawing kabutihan, hmm, may hihingin lang yan. Hmm, baka lasunin ako niyan. Kita mo na yun. Bakit? Puro negative ang nakikita mo. Because yun ang laman ng puso mo. Eh. Pwede kang maging pariseyo. Palagi kang nasa simbahan, pero ang puso mo ay walang laman. Maaring nandito ka sa simbahan, pero malayo ang sarili mo sapagat ang puso mo <coughs> ay laman, puro galit sa kapwa-tao mo. Pusibling ganun eh. At ang tawag sa iyo kapag ganun, ikaw ay pariseyo. Kaya reminder sa atin ito, na kapag tayo po ay nagsisimba, It should not replace, it should not be a substitute of our broken relationships. Mahirap magsimba kapag ka ikaw po at alam mo na meron kang nakasak- kapag nakasakit ka, kapag ka meron kang kagalit. Di ba mahirap? Ewan ko lang kung naranasan niyo yan. Our worship should not substitute our good relationships with other people. Ang hirap magsimba kapag ka may kagalit ka. Kasi ang misa, kung titingnan ninyo, it is structured in such a way that we are all reconciled with one another before we receive the Lord. Pansin ninyo sa misa, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters. At bago natin tanggapin ang Diyos, anong sasabihin ng pare? Let us offer one another a sign of peace. At tatanggapin natin ang Diyos buong-buo. Sapagat sa totoo lang, kaya yung mahilang binasa natin, sinasabi sa atin dito, na kapag ka meron kang naisip, may nasaktan ka, may sama ka ng loob, iwan mo yung alay mo at you reconcile with that person. Nakita mo na yun? Ang misa ganun nakastructure. Our altar offering is only valuable if we are reconciled with one another. 
Ang hirap tanggapin ang Diyos na kapag ka ikaw po ay nagkukumunyong ka palagi, tapos yung puso mo pala puno ng sama ng loob, puno ng hatred. Diba? We cannot have two sets of loss for God and for our brothers. It is a package deal. It is the two sides of the coin. Palagi magkasama yan. Integrated. Palagi nga sinasabi, our worship is pointless if it is not seen in our action and in our lives. And our action are meaningless if it is not rooted in our faith. Ang atin pong pagdarasal at pagsasamba ay walang katuturan kung hindi po na hindi po ito nakikita sa ating mga gawa at sa ating buhay. At ang ating mga gawa ay walang kahulugan kapag ito po hindi nakaugat sa ating panampalataya. Integrated, magkasama palagi. That is righteousness. Hindi mo pwedeng separate na kapag ka ikaw simba ng simba, pagkatapos nito, ikaw ay walang hiya. Hindi pwede. Pagsasamahin mo talaga yan. It is integrated. Isang kwento lang po, naalala ko tuloy, bagong ordin ako na pare. Pagkatapos ng misa, <coughs> sabi sa akin nung <coughs> may nag-invite, Father, I like your homily. Ako naman, okay, thank you po. Ayan. Pwede kayo maimbitahan, Father. Misa na pag maganon, Father, I like your homily. Basta tatanong, ano ka ba yung homily ko? Sabi nung matanda, ah, basta Father, okay siya. Okay. Inimbitahan ako na kumain sa kanilang bahay. Pagkaganyan, hindi ako na, usually, I don't refuse. Kain yun eh. No? Father, pwede ka may tahan. No? Sabi ko, base lang po ako. Pag nating namin na sa bahay nila, ganda ng bahay, may collection ng vintage cars. Malaki nung gate eh. Pagpasok ko, daming sakyan. Pagpasok namin sa bahay, biglang bumunga ng isang plato ng mga katulong. Hindi man, ma maraming katulong. Just to, just to say na maraming katulong. Sabi sa akin, Father, anong gusto niyo po? Uh, sabi ko, uh, kung ano pong i-prepare po ninyo, uh, ako hindi mo na ako mapili. Sabi niya, oh sige, prepare kayo ng ganito. Ganyan, daming sinabi doon sa mga katulong niya. Coffee, Father. Sabi ko, oh, sige, coffee. Nag-prepare ng cup of coffee. Pantuhan kami, ganyan. Siguro natagalan yung mga <coughs> katulong sa pagluto nung ano man yung lulutuin nila, yung mga imported pa. No? Siguro kasi bagaling pa ng freezer, pinapa, ano pa, natagalan. Tapos eh, siguro nag-worry siya kasi baka akala niya nagmamadali ako. Pagpagkain po niya ako nagmamadali, ninanamnam ko ang bawat sagdali. Ang problema, ito na, nagalit siya, pinagalitan niya yung mga katulong, kung ano nung mga, sense sa word, may sinabing tanga, bobo, para bang, uh, unmind you, kagagaling ng misa. Habang kumakain ako, nakatingin sa akin yung mga katulong, para bang sinasabi sa raplasunin ng pare na ito. <laughs> Bakit? Dahil napagalitan sila dahil sa akin. Kita nyo na yun? Nagsisimba. Pagdating sa bahay, Mababa ang tingin sa mga katulong. So kung titignan natin, tandaan po natin ito na dapat integrated. Our righteousness should come from our heart nang gagaling sa ating mga puso na puno ng pagmamahal, pag-uunawa at pagpapatawad. Dapat magkasama. Pag tayo po'y nagsisimba, Inuuwi sa bahay ang value ng misa. At ano po yun? Love, forgiveness, reconciliation. And always remember this, that our altar offering, and if we offer ourselves to the Lord, is only valuable if we are reconciled with one another. Ulitin ko po, medical advice, take care of your heart. Cardiac arrest is real. Pero mas mahalaga ang biblical advice. Above all else, guard your heart because everything you do 
flows from it. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Tandaan natin na ang ating worship is pointless if it is not seen in our action and in our lives. And our action is meaningless if it is not rooted in our faith. Ang pagdarasal dapat integrated sa reconciliation and relationship natin sa isa't isa. That is yung tinatawag natin na righteousness. Let us all stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, have who have experienced His forgiveness may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. For every petition, we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may truly become a sacrament of the world through the ministry of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who are rightly committed to causes of justice and human liberation may not only accuse and protest, but recognize and uproot sin in their own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples who are estranged from one another may come to forgive, understand, and appreciate one another once again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may be healed of our pride and be humble enough to accept our faults and failures so that we may live peaceably with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for the safety of all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to seek reconciliation and heal any form of division. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, 
establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by these sacred mysteries, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, we may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so, we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song and adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down His Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time He was betrayed and entered willingly into His passion, He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to His disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please 
so stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the power. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy Amen. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
May they all be one, Father, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May, may they, they all be, be one, one Father, Father, so, so that, that the, the world, world may believe it was, it was you who you sent, sent me. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that through our partaking in the sacrifice which your Son commanded us to be offered in his memory, you may make us together with him an everlasting oblation to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of our Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, all and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming salamat po, and have a nice day.